Example number two, based upon a flat connected to a gusset plate. A flat of size 120 into 80 mm carrying a tensile force is directly given in this question. The tensile force is 140 kN is to be connected to a gusset plate by fillet welded in the shop. Determine the minimum length of the weld if the ultimate shear stress is 270 MPa. So let us sketch the diagram for this. This is a flat or a plate with width of 120 mm and thickness 8 mm which is connected to a gusset plate. We do not know that what length we need to do weld. Let this length be L1 and this length be L2. Step 1, let us write the given data. Step 1, given data. What is given in this question? Size of the plate. So, size is equal to 120 into 8 mm. So, size of the plate is given as 120 into 8 mm. And still what is given? Tensile force that is TD is equal to how much? TD or PD is equal to how much? It is given as uh, carrying a tensile force of 140 kilo newtons, sorry. So, 140 kilo newtons, 140 kilo newtons. Next, ultimate shear stress that is Fy, sorry Fu is equal to 270 Newton per mm square and the partial safety factor is given as gamma m0 is equal to 1.25. What is step 1? Step 1 size of the plate, size of the plate is equal to B into T that is 120 into 8 equal to 960 mm square is equal to 960 mm square. Step 2. In this question, directly they have given tensile force. So that we can find we can find directly design tensile force that is 1.5 into tensile force. 1.5 into how much? 140 is equal to 1.5 into 140, 210. So, 210 kilo newtons. Step 3. So, here only I am finding the size of the well. Size of the well. Yes. Directly we can take S is equal to thickness of the plate minus 1.5. So, what is the thickness of the plate given here? 8 mm. So, 8 minus 1.5 we get 6.5 for calculation purpose. I am going to take 6 mm. Now step 4, ultimate shear stress Fu is equal to I think uh, 270 Newton per mm square. Step 5, design shear stress. That is FWD is equal to FU by root 3 into 1.25. So, if FWD is equal to FU by root 3 into 1.25. What is FU? 270 divided by root 3 into 1.25. So, what is the answer? 270 divided by root 3 into 1.25. So, 125 kilo newtons per mm square or newtons per mm square. What is step 6? What is step 6 here? Step 6 is nothing but design tensile strength or design strength. Both are equal.
So step six design tensile strength T D is equal to 0 0.7 into size of the weld into L effective into design ultimate or design shear stress. So, T D is how much? 210 kilo newtons. So, 210 into 10 power 3 is equal to 0 0.7. What is size of the weld? 6. So, in this question we need to find L effective length. What is design shear stress? 125. So, L effective length is equal to 210 into 10 power 3 divided by 0 0.7 into 6 into 1.25. Let us check the total L effective length. Total L effective length is how much? Let us see. Let us see. 210 into 10 power 3 divided by 0 0.7 into 6 into 6 into 1. It is not 1.25. It is 125. Sorry, 125. We are getting 400 mm. Is a total effective length. So what is single effective length? So effective length is equal to total divided by 2. That is 400 divided by 2. So 200 mm. With the length of 200 mm on the both the sides we need to do welding for gusset plate and fat plate. So what is the length effective length? That is 200 mm. What is the total effective length? 200 plus 200, 400 mm. This is a very important question for your examination. 